when I had an epiphany one morning, and I was struggling with what I wanted to do and what I was trying to do, what made sense, what society told me to do. And I just quit my job. Devoted my time to the hustle on YouTube. I had so many hustles, still got so many hustles plus the YouTube. It just didn't make sense to keep working for somebody. So it's my journey. It's episode one. Today they got got down. They cleaning in this motherfucker. But we working on arms today, bro. That's what we working on. We working on arms today. I wear big shit when I be in the gym. I don't wear nothing tight. Nothing tight, bro. Everything big, bro. When I'm in the gym. And I'm not here to teach y'all how to work out, bro. I'm just letting y'all know I'm in here. I'm in. I'm in here, bro. So get here. Be here or be there or be square. This is why I use the chair. I use the chair because I don't swing. My arms, I get, it's just harder for me to lift whatever I'm lifting. That's why I use the chair. You know what I mean? I, I wear the bench. I use the bench because I don't have to swing and all that.
That was it, the gym. Man, it, it don't ever be nobody in there. I ain't complaining about it. It's good because I can, you know, move and groove, but it is what it is. I'm finna, uh, probably finna go by my daddy's house real quick. I ain't seen him. I ain't seen him in a, I ain't seen my daddy in a minute. Stop by over there, see what he got going on. And shoot, stay tuned, bro, bro. See, we ain't on shit. This is just today. This is just a normal day, bro. Man, yeah, today it's just a normal day, so we just yeah, that's what we on. My face clear. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Hey, my face wood. My face. I got sensitive skin too. To be real, but I don't know. I've been doing something right. Golly, see, I should have had that right there. Fucking something up. Whatever. But anyways, man, look, I was actually, I didn't want to do this vlog. I, I think I said when I was on the treadmill, I didn't want to do it. I swear, I like, if I was to ever be famous, they would, they would hate me. Because I would never give direct answers. Because I, I really be private, bro. But I be wanting to be on the scene, but then I don't. Because, you feel me, I know they be asking you invasive questions and and to be fair I don't want to be famous I just want to you feel me get the money and, and have the opportunities that comes with being famous you know what I mean like I want the money on that's what I want and then with all the opportunities that come with it when you when you got some type of notoriety bro you don't have to pay for nothing they just want a little promo you feel me? They want the, they want people to know that LeBro was over here. LeBro was over here, and we want y'all business. You know me, I'm gonna have to drop a dollar, cause you feel me? I, I just don't I, like you feel me. I just, I'm just not a type of dude to just take something for free, bro. Like I ain't even never been a thief, bro. Like I, I don't steal, bro. I would like if I had to do something, bro. I, it's, just, it's just stealing it is not in my. You know what I mean? It's not in my. uh Makeup, it ain't me. That shit is not me, bro. I just think that if you steal and look, hey, you get it how you live, bro. I'm not the type of dude to judge. I just feel like for me personally, if you steal, I can't have you around me. Bro. Ain't no telling if you were steal, there's no telling what you would do, bro. Bro, like, especially if you my friend, bro, because I'm not finna let you feel me. I'm not finna let you just go without. You probably can't use my shit, but I got something for you. You know what I mean? I got something you can have. Normally, if I let you borrow something, you can just have it. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like sharing, bro. Like, I would rather buy you something than to share my shit. <laughs> that shit backwards, too, bro. But that's just how it's always been. Like, it's just, I don't like sharing something that I utilize every day. I'd rather just, here, you can have it. If, it, if it's, an item here, you can have it, bro. I don't even want it back. Because this right here. Number one is mine. But number two, bro, it's mine. And number three, you're not gonna treat my stuff how I treat my stuff. So once you borrow it, you can have it, bro. Yeah, I've always been like that. Don't like sharing mine, but I'll buy you some. So that don't mean I'm stingy. It's just 
You feel me? I'll just buy you yours. Here. This one. Like, if you want to have it myself, nah, bro, here, here a couple dollars to get your own. <laughs> I just been like this, bro. I don't know. I swear I just don't like it. I don't. Man, we be my daddy's house here soon, man. Stay tuned. Yeah. Man, it ain't hot out here, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out where they got that. I don't know if I got the damn, uh, if I need, I'm about to change my oil. Purchase your tracks today. I don't know if I got, uh, the damn, uh, socket I need to take the, take the, uh, bolt off. Take this load off this drain this oil. Trip. Let me do something. Man. There we go. Hell yeah, I think I might. Change the oil. I'm finna wash this motherfucker real quick. The pressure washer. Hey! Car shampoo, my nigga. Probably gonna use some of that shit. He ain't ran a little water in this bitch. Let's see what's going on. I gotta wash Duke. Duke need to wash, man. This is probably the bit, like, on cap. Out of all the white holes my daddy done had, this the one. Let me show y'all. This motherfucker, yeah. This one right here, y'all. This motherfucker right here. No key. This the one. Let me see. It got a little. That shit is. That motherfucker right. And somewhere. Pressure washer on it, huh? Oh! This is my work truck, y'all. Motherfucker paid off. And yes, sir. I drive this junk every day. But this bitch need to be clean. That sap be hitting my shit up. We gonna wash this fish. How the fuck? I'm gonna ask my brother to take this shit off. I don't know how to take it. Oh, there you go. A little regular. A little regular action. Damn. God damn. All that pressure builds up in this bitch. Shit. The water hose hard though. Uh, Damn. And this motherfucker will not fit on here. That is crazy, bro. Damn. Guess I'm gonna have to hand wash this bitch. I will. This shit need. This shit dirty though. I ain't no hose again. Shit dirty motherfucker.
This water hole is true, though. I swear. This is true. I'm gonna wash this motherfucker anyway. No hand wash. I ain't never hurt nobody. Yes. Purchase your tracks today. Just spray them down. I gotta figure out where I'm gonna park it because that sap been tearing me. I don't wash my car twice this week. So with that damn sap. This shit smell fire. It smell like blueberries. Uh, really it is. When I get married, I'm gonna be washing my wife car. My ex used to be mad. I ain't watching car all the time, but our schedule was off. She be pissed off. You gonna watch yours, you didn't watch mine. Cause you was at work when I watched mine. What is you hollering? <laughs> you don't even be on the same schedule. You talking about? I was like, bro, what? You got the damn membership to go wash your shit. Take that motherfucker to the car wash and just rock, walk through the bitch. She used to be mad as hell. I was wrong, but I should have, but our schedule was off. I can take accountability and tell you when I was wrong. I was wrong. Man, Shit, these man duties though, bro, like, it's a lot of art. Washing cars, cutting the grass, man. I don't know where y'all from, but I'm from the South. I'm from Tennessee, baby. This is what we do. We wash our cars. And we take our, change our oil. You know, cut grass. Make sure your girl's still straight. You know what I mean? If y'all got the same off day, make sure your girl car cool, your car cool. You got food in the house. This is what it take, bro. This is what. It's what it take to be a man, bro. But a lot of niggas. It's hard truth, but a lot of niggas didn't have a good role model. So they don't know what being a man is. They gotta learn on the fly. A lot of niggas gotta learn on the fly, man. This shouldn't even be like that. You're supposed to have pillars in your community to help you become what you think a man is. Your idea of what a man should be. That's, you know. And you know, you 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 ain't gotta take everything from what they telling you. Because some shit be flawed, but a lot of shit be right. You just take the meat from the bone and discard the bone. You ain't gotta take everything. You just gotta take what you think can benefit you, bro. Take what you can benefit. You know what I mean? Steal some game, steal some advice. If you're gonna steal something, steal that. Steal some advice, steal some game. Apply it to your life and, you know, and get to the next level. Use that. But, you know, this is the type of shit I do, man. Like, outside of uh, my every day to day, this is what I do, bro. This is the type of shit that made me have to travel. You know what I mean? When I got the opportunity to be a good daddy or be a daddy, I get, and I get to see my kid, man. Like, it's important to me, bro. Ooh, shit, I almost fell. You know what I mean? Because it's, it's important, bro. Like, we not always going to be here. But, you know, when you got the opportunity to be here, you got to make do with that shit. You know, every opportunity that you got, you got to make do with it. And you got to pass, you know, all this shit forward to the next generation. A lot of people, if they ain't never had this, they don't know what it takes, bro. They don't know what it, what it is that you're doing. And so it may seem foreign to a lot of people. A lot of this shit may seem foreign to them because they ain't never had this type of, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Type of, like, direction. You know, looking out for you, that shit is real, bro. That shit is really real. And it mean a lot when you got the right people in your corner teaching you the right shit, bro. And that's what our young, these young men need. Me too, hey, I'm still a young nigga. Like, you talking about good shit, so. That's a plus on my end. Oh, I'm home. 
that he just pulled up. He went to the store. He making peanut butter cookies, I think. I guess what he's making like. This motherfucker one more time. Give it a good old oh, yeah. Doing something over there. Take a little effort and you also gotta know what you want too, bro. You gotta know what you want. Cause this shit don't come easy, bro. Even this YouTube shit, bro. I'm learning this shit on the fly. You know? But we doing it. It ain't easy. You know what I mean? A nigga wanna give up all the time, but shit. That ain't raise no query, so. I just be having to think about what I'm gonna record, cause fuck, I know what I'm gonna do here. Yeah. Shit, if they don't be interesting, it ain't gotta be. Shit, you just say what's up. I gotta get this whole repainted. I'm gonna put the rhino on this motherfucker though. To the other side. It look, like, it look better though. Hey, I gotta get you feel me. <laughs> look a lot better. I just hate when that shit gets sticky on that sap tree. Fucking my shit up, man. So yeah, that is what it is. Your boy Chip the Hustler, your friendly neighborhood play a part of Chip the Hustler. And I just need y'all to do one thing. If y'all like the content, like, subscribe, share, share the content. Get me out there, man. Listen, I got a little bit of game for y'all, but a lot of bit of experiences. Like I said, it's episode one. I quit my nine to five, man. Y'all stay tuned. Gone.